this week is to really just focus on my training, eat clean foods, get seven to nine hours of sleep. by the title today's video is going to be another what I eat in a day I am kind of on my little reset routine if you saw my last vlog you might have seen that I just celebrated my birthday I also just came back from a wedding and a little road trip with my husband and Gavin so haven't been eating the best honestly have been drinking more than I would like to so this week my goal is to just eat as clean as I can continue training well for my half marathon. I am following a 14 week program on the Nike Run app. I am on week four now, so my priority for this week is to really just focus on my training, eat clean foods, get seven to nine hours of sleep. So I figured today would be a good day to film a what I eat in a day, all about quick and easy meals, meals where I don't have to spend too much time in the kitchen but are still delicious. So. I'm excited to film this video for you guys. I have some exciting meals that I kind of planned out for today. So today's going to be a fun video. If you enjoy these types of videos, I would love for you to stick around, like, and subscribe. I will also leave a playlist in my description below of all my other what I eat in a day. So feel free to binge this next. Morning routine hasn't changed much. I just start off my morning first thing with some water. It's really important to replenish and rehydrate after a night's sleep. And then I made my my juice. I add in some greens powder, some of my superfruits powder, and some apple cider vinegar. It's a great way to get your digestion going and I'm having fruits and veggies first thing in the morning. So really love that. Then I made my collagen coffee. I love adding collagen into my coffee in the mornings. I am now in my 30s, so collagen is something I am really prioritizing. It's great for your skin elasticity, your nails, your hair, your joints. So highly recommend adding some type of collagen supplement into your routine. But let's go ahead and take a sip of my coffee because I have yet to have caffeine this morning. So the one I use this morning is the hazelnut one. So good. Added a little bit of sugar-free vanilla syrup and then two scoops of my collagen powder. Topped it off with some cinnamon. Added some oat milk. So good. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my coffee. And if you've been watching my videos for a while now, you probably know I'm not a huge breakfast person. I guess I kind of do a flexible intermittent fasting because this is definitely not fasting with the coffee. But I've just never really been a breakfast person. So I will check in with you guys in a few hours to make some lunch. All right, so it's been a few hours later. I'm getting ready to make some lunch. It is about 11 o'clock right now, but I'm getting ready to head out. So I am making lunch a little bit earlier. I'm going to make a little tuna rice bowl with some seaweed. I actually just finished cooking some rice earlier and 
yeah, I'm gonna show you guys what I'm gonna put into my tuna bowl. Here's everything I am going to be putting into my tuna bowl recipe. This is one of my favorite things to make for lunch. It's quick, it's easy, it's high protein, and yeah, it has all these yummy things in it. I'm going to add some arugula, some green onion, avocado, lemon. I have just the Trader Joe's skipjack tuna some seaweed, making it into a little tuna rice bowl, and I'm going to make little seaweed wraps out of it. And then for my sauce, I am making a spicy mayo sauce with some sriracha, organic mayo from Trader Joe's, and some sugar. I just finished making my lunch. This literally took not even 10 minutes to put together. And it's one of my favorite things to make. Again, it's high in protein, it's salty, it's sweet with the spicy mayo and a little bit of the sugar. It's citrusy with the lemon. You have some greens in here from the arugula, some healthy fats from the avocado, and a little bit of rice. I add, I actually use about one third cup of rice. And then I always have this with seaweed. This is the organic roasted seaweed with sea salt from Trader Joe's. This entire pack is 30 calories. And of course I have my sparkling water. This is the peach pear. And I do love this, it reminds me of a peach ring. It's so good. I'm just going to squeeze some more lemon into my bowl and open up my seaweed. I honestly love making this. It kind of reminds me of a cheap poke bowl that you can make at home. Obviously, if you had better quality tuna, I highly would recommend using that because I'm just, I'm obsessed with poke bowls. All right, I'm going to assemble one little wrap. I have my seaweed and I'm going to put in a little bit of rice, a little bit of the tuna. And then for the tuna, I did just cook it in um, no oil, just the tuna, some green onion, a little bit of black pepper, and some crushed red chili flakes because I do like my spice. And then I have a little bit of an avocado. Let's try to add in some green onion. So there is my little DIY tuna sushi wrap. So let's go ahead and try it. So good. I could literally eat this every single day. Mmm. I'm gonna go ahead and finish up the rest of my lunch and then I will check in with you guys later for some dinner.
Hey guys, it has been a couple of hours later. I'm getting ready to make some dinner. The day just kind of got away from me. It ended up getting really busy at work. I logged off work and went straight to Run Club, got in my 3.8 mile run. It's a little Run Club top. I'm hungry, I'm getting ready to make some dinner. Please excuse my face, I'm looking extra crazy. I'm sweaty, I'm hungry, I'm tired all the things. This is a very realistic what I eat in a day. To be honest, I was very close to going out to dinner with my husband just because after my runs, I don't really want to do anything. So I try to have either my dinner ready or have dinner before. That didn't happen today. So I'm hoping I can put this together pretty quickly. I am making a home chef dinner tonight and these are pork adobo stuffed poblanos and everything does come in this little bag right here. I honestly love Home Chef. It saves me so much time during the week with planning meals and just getting meals done pretty quick. If you are curious about Home Chef, I have done a few reviews on my channel, but literally it comes with everything you need. And to be honest, I needed to actually make this meal probably like four days ago, so Ingredients so far are looking pretty good still. That's everything. I'm missing the pork. All right, and then it does have the pork right here. I'm gonna just go ahead and put this together really quickly. It was missing a little something a little bit of hot sauce and some other texture to it so there's the bite with the avocado the turkey the beans every basically everything mm. all right i'm gonna finish this up i'll check with you guys later So it's been a few hours later. I just took my vitamins, which are the same vitamins I've been taking. I'm taking a vitamin B12, a vitamin D3, and prenatal vitamins. And if you're not already doing it, I highly recommend getting your blood work done each year so your doctor can tell you specifically which vitamins to take. Oftentimes, I feel like me, myself, I was taking vitamins my body didn't need and when you're taking an excess of supplements that your body doesn't need, you actually just end up peeing it out, which is a waste of money and honestly just a waste in general. So highly recommend being on top of your doctor's appointments, your blood work, so you know exactly what you need directly from your doctor. Just wanted to quickly pop on here to 
close out today's video. I hope you enjoyed today's what I eat in a day. Again, in my description below, I have a whole playlist of all my other what I eat in a day. So feel free to binge those next. And just as a reminder, all of our bodies are different. We all require different amounts of food. I don't eat like this every day. I'm just trying to be a little bit more mindful with what I'm eating, with practicing intuitive eating. And again, it just varies day to day. Also, when I am running um, longer distances, sometimes I will just eat a lot more and that is because I need to replenish my body. So listen to your body, feel your body. Your body is a temple. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time. Bye. Bye.